Hello my friend, Noah Hammond Terrell here, back with another video. Uh, I was going to shoot this video somewhere with a little bit better light on my face, but as you might be able to hear, it just started raining, and we're here in Costa Rica in the rainy season, so it's uh, bound to happen at unexpected times. So uh, I hope the quality of this video comes out okay, and I'm really excited to be with you here today, um, because I want to talk about living your life's mission, essentially. I want to talk about living your purpose, living your destiny, living your calling. And I want to talk to you about one of the most painful experiences that I've ever had in my life and how it relates to living your calling, living your mission, uh, and also how it relates to mine and your relationship, who I'm here to be for you, living my mission. So let's see where this goes. People get confused about their mission because there's too much information. There's constant media, there's constant opinions of friends, there's constant conversation, there's constant stimulation, there's constant social activities, there's, it's just life moves at a pretty quick pace, especially if you compare it to how human beings' lives moved just a few hundred years ago. And up until that point, we did a lot more sitting we had a lot less immediate access to stimulation, right? So we just naturally, we used to live our lives with a lot more time for contemplation and reflection and just quiet. And I know that that's why I was sent to Costa Rica. I'm living on top of a mountain that's seven and a half kilometers up a dirt road and you need a four wheel drive, badass vehicle to get up here and it's 45 minutes to the nearest grocery and Mostly what I do is a lot of writing and reading and reflecting and learning and creating awesome things for all of you. And I really feel like my time here is almost, almost complete. It's time to start traveling. It's time to start being with people. It's time to start integrating back into society in, in, a, in like a whole new level, in a whole new way. Uh, and all of this relates to our mission, your mission, living our calling, living our purpose. So let me talk about this painful story uh, that... I referenced earlier. You see, over the last two, three, two or three years, I, I've gotten into this very deep spiritual path, if you call it that. Um, I, I do a lot of meditation. I'm a seeker of truth, right? However you want to label it, it doesn't actually matter. Um, regardless, there were byproduct stereotypes, shoulds, and ideas that came along with that, that clouded my vision and clouded my mission and clouded my purpose. And I guess the whole reason I'm being called to share all this with you is so that maybe you can see some reflection um, how this has happened for you in some way. And you can step more authentically into your mission, your vision, your passion, your calling, why you were created, what you're really here to do, what your true calling is. Uh, so, Getting so deeply into my spiritual path, it started this rift. It was like this seed, but it wasn't growing into a tree of beauty. It was growing into like a wedge between me and my truest truth. And, and at the same time, I acknowledge that everything that has happened up until this point is absolutely perfect. It's created me to be exactly who I'm supposed to be in this story that I'm participating in, this life story called Noah, Ham, and Terrell. I, I acknowledge that fully. Um, but the pain that I experience from this problem is something that I, I suppose my character is here to help you avoid. So what happened? I, I, was a, a, I am a, an entrepreneur, I'm a martial artist, I am a, a badass coach, I am a, a, a fun-loving guy, I'm incredibly social, I love to dance, I love to socialize, I like to uh, create things, I like to create new ideas, I like to support others creating new ideas, like, I like to be in society, absolutely. And as this spiritual seed was planted in me, which has brought me so much beauty and so much joy in my life and, and such an experience of happiness, unlike I've ever known before, and it continues to deepen. It also, I guess my ego, really, hijacked a piece of that and started building this wedge where I had this should in my mind, this should idea that I should be 
striving to be ever more spiritual. And that to be ever more spiritual meant to stack more and more hours on my meditation plate and to uh, distance myself from society and inputs more and more and to uh, go inward more and more and be ever striving for this inward journey. What's really true and what I'm really excited to share with all of you because I know a lot of you are on your own path in your own way is that if you acknowledge that spirituality is here and the rest of the world is over here you're actually acknowledging and creating duality, which is essentially the opposite of spirituality. Spirituality is, is, in one definition, is whatever process, path, or experience you use to merge, to create singularity, to create oneness, right? So if you go, this is spirituality, and this is good, and this is a job at a bank, and that's bad, that's not spiritual, or any other label or any other judgment about what is this opposite of spiritual living and spiritual tasks, well, you're actually undermining your own spiritual quest because you're not surrendering to what's really the truest truth, which is that you were built for something. You were made for something. You have a purpose here. Everything in nature has a purpose. If it doesn't have a purpose, it's not here. That's the design of a, a, an infinite intelligent universe right? So you have a purpose. And if you have a seed in your mind that is telling you you should be wanting something else other than your purpose, it's creating that wedge for you. Now, this is an incredibly painful experience because what I kept doing, and, and maybe as being part of my tribe, depending on how long you've been following me, you've probably noticed this, that uh, Noah shows up and then uh, Noah disappears, and then Noah shows up, and Noah disappears, and Noah shows up, and Noah disappears. And ultimately, that was exactly the pain that the wedge was bringing to me. I'm, I'm living my purpose, I'm not, even though I thought I was. I'm living my purpose, I'm not, even though I thought I was. I'm living my purpose, I'm not, even though I thought it was. And what that ultimately created is um, this, up and down, experience of reality. Uh, success and uh, withdrawal, success and withdrawal, success and withdrawal, success and withdrawal. Because success in your life will come effortlessly when you fully embody your mission, when you let go of the things that you think you should be doing and how you should be doing them, and you actually align with what you're here for. I wanted to drop an F-bomb there because we are effing here for something. When you align with that, everything else takes care of itself. Everything else is provided for. It's like if a tree that was meant to grow into an orange tree, for some reason got the idea that it thought it should grow into an apple tree, well, it's going to have a tough existence trying to fulfill on that wish. Right? But if it, if it comes back to the truth that, hey dude, you're supposed to be an orange tree, it's going to effortlessly do exactly what it's here to do. It's going to effortlessly experience growth and maturity and bearing fruits. I didn't even know the depth of that analogy when I started it. This is pretty cool. So there's something in your experience that is desiring to be effortless. And man, it's just painful. It's painful. Painful when you miss this. I remember... I was putting things out on Facebook and they were getting just a few likes and I was like, what is going on? And this is all just, you know, this is all just part of my experience. I know this to, 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 to shake me, to help me see what I wasn't seeing. But it was like, I was just, the more I wanted to contribute to people, the, the less I felt like I was being received. And I was like, in all this pain and anguish, like wondering, have I become irrelevant? Like, a am I pointless? It, it is, um, you know, do people not love me? All these things, and, and it had all these seriously potent feelings attached to them. And, and ultimately, through conversations with some, some friends, some mentors, myself, my guides, my intuition, whatever you want to call it, um, I got to this choice point where I, I said, okay, it's very clear. Either my job is to totally leave society get a piece of land in the middle of the rainforest and 
sit and meditate 10 hours a day or 20 hours a day and really, truly live this whatever idea in my mind I have of what spirituality looks like. Or my job is to use all my tools, all my talents, all the skills that I've developed, all the passion, all the enthusiasm, everything that's within me to go back into society and to give as fully as I can, to make as much of a difference as possible, to, um, to just give and to constantly be a, a source of inspiration for others, a, a source of guidance for others, a, a creator, a, a stand for, uh, for consciousness and spirit and love and connection and conservation and all the things that in my heart I know I'm here to be. And that was the choice point. And as soon as I got clear that that was the choice point, it also became really clear, as you can see, which one was really true for me. And so shine the light inside yourself right now on where are you divided? Where are you divided between your purpose, your calling, your mission, and what you're actually doing in the world, how you're actually showing up, what you're actually spending your time doing? And this doesn't mean have a freak out and, and uh, make yourself wrong and, and um, you know, immediately change your whole life and you know, stop paying your mortgage so you can go off to India or vice versa. Uh, you know, come back from your meditation and screw all that and work 50 hours a day. It's, it doesn't mean anything except for it, it's a calling to your awareness to, to actually actively look at where this wedge is occurring for you. If you're not experiencing abundance and happiness and a feeling of power and worth, I'm not saying there's not gonna be any challenges in your life. The challenges are amazing. They're what define us and they're what make this whole story and this whole game of life rather interesting. I'm not saying there's not gonna be any challenges, but at the end of the day, if you're feeling a disillusionment, if you're feeling depression, if you're feeling um, like you're lost, if you're feeling um, like you don't matter or you, or, you're, or you don't feel worthy or you don't feel uh, loved, it means that there's something calling your attention. There's something that you're being asked to kick in to full gear on. There's something that you're being asked to, to see more clearly and to move into more fully. You know, a lot of people say that the, the, the consciousness on our planet is awakening, that the vibrations are rising and all these different things. And in my perspective, what I downloaded the other day actually is that if and because that's true, what's happening is we're moving towards unity, right? We're moving away from separation, which is like ego embodiment, right? And we're moving towards unity. Now, if you imagine in, in ego separation, it's easier to make money or to, uh, or to do things that are out of alignment, right? You can make money profiting from pain because you know, the profit and the pain is over here and I'm over here. Okay, there's separation. But as the planet is coming into greater and greater alignment with oneness and, and the, the higher vibration or the higher consciousness or whatever you want to call it, uh, greater awareness, it means that this separation is not so easy anymore. You can't be like, oh, I'm making money like that and it hurts a couple of people, who cares? I need the money for me because I'm over here and this is over here. That separation, that gap is closing which means that your lack of alignment of like, this is what I was built for, this is what I'm here to do, your room, your wiggle room is, is going away. And that's why so many people, more people than ever before, are completely dissatisfied at their jobs, completely dissatisfied at the work they do, completely dissatisfied with how their life is showing up. And, and unfortunately, many of them not knowing a better idea, are, are you know, taking pills, numbing it with drugs, alcohol, sex, whatever, to just dis distract yourself away from the fact that you're out of alignment. You know, for me, it was, it was oh, this is spirit. And, and, then, and that was actually my ego's back door to keep me totally out of alignment with the fact that I'm here to be a leader, uh, that I'm here to guide, that I'm here to teach that I'm here to support, that I'm here to write, that I'm here to uh, do videos, that I'm here to lead workshops and seminars and retreats and experiences, and I'm here to cause profound transformation for the people that I serve. And ultimately, this is what it comes down to, is that it kept me out of full commitment to my purpose. And commitment is the key. 
because it doesn't matter if you're failing, quote unquote. It doesn't matter if you got your ass kicked today. If you're fully committed to your path and purpose, there's nothing that can shake you in the long term. It doesn't matter how bad your day was. You're still going to bed knowing, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. It'll all work out, the rest will get handled. That's really your only job, is to do what you're here to do, and to commit to that, and to commit to making it happen. And the rest takes care of itself. The rest will fall into place, the right teachers, the right guides, the right opportunities, the right actions, right? Once you're committed, everything stems from there. But when you're not committed, like I unknowingly was, you do this up, down, up, down thing. And life is this never ending squeeze of like, oh, why won't things work out? Why aren't things going the way they're supposed to go? Why do I get this feeling, this tightness, this restriction? Why, why, why? And then hopefully this will help you bypass that and you can uh, awaken to the fact that there's a mission, there's a purpose, there's a calling, there's a reason for your existence. And what's being called for now is your alignment with that so that you grow into the tree that you were meant to be. There's a reason your seed was planted here. There's a reason you're not just floating in spirit bliss right now, but you're instead in the duality. You're in a human body. You're in a flesh suit. You're having this experience. There's a reason for every single person, especially the people who are watching this, because this is a calling. This is a, a transmission to step up. Because that's, that's what happened for me. And look at everything up until now is perfect. Look at everything, all the pain you've endured, all the discomfort, all the confusion, all the sadness, all whatever it was, the mistakes, the regrets, let all that go. It was all perfect to get you to this moment, to receive this calling, and to take a moment after this video to look at what am I truly, what's the gift that I'm here to give? What is the gift that I'm here to give? And how can I start giving that now? And how can I move into a life where I'm giving it more consistently? And how can I give it 10 hours a day? And how can I give it 20 hours a day? And how can I give it while I'm sleeping? How can I give the gift that I'm here to give? So I'm fully committed to giving the gifts that I'm here to give. And I, I'm just, so happy and so thankful for every single person who's watching this video, any of my other videos, who's supporting my work, uh, who is going to be part of the We Thrive Global community. Uh, and this is just the calling. We're all, we're all being called. And it's not right, it's not wrong, it's not better or worse. We're not here to fix anything. It's all just perfect. And aligning with that brings power and light and purpose and passion and, and the whole invigoration of your soul comes into your life. So take a look. I hope this has been helpful. And uh, yeah, immense gratitude for everyone who's been with me along the journey. Whether I was phasing in and out of a support role for you or not, uh, I'm here. And, and I look forward to working with uh, conscious entrepreneurs to uh, just blow up their brand, their business, their movement. I look forward to coaching people and all my programs and supporting people with We Thrive Global and that community. And, and I just got inspired to be a, a writer. And so I'm committed to consistent writing and I'm gonna have some amazing articles coming out and um, a new book coming out soon too. So I love you all. Thanks for being part of my experience and I'll be back soon with another video.